In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool color isolation effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, if you're looking for some really cool plugins for Final Cut Pro 10, go ahead and check out my website, winkinsmedia.com, where we have a whole bunch of really cool editing packs for Final Cut Pro 10. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video and I'll show you how to create this really clean effect. So this is a clip that we'll be using. This is just a clip from the Little Tech uh, Taste music video. In order to create this really cool color isolation effect, there's just one main thing you want to consider. So you want to pick out which color you want to isolate. For example, we want to isolate out this green color. However, if he's wearing a green shirt, she's wearing a green dress, or his hair is dyed green, it's really not going to work. So you want to be very very, it, this effect is really only going to work on specific clips, so just keep that in mind. If there's, if there's a whole bunch of green in the, a whole bunch of blue in the shot, and you're trying to isolate just one section of blue, it's really hard to do that. So this clip works perfectly because the grass is green and then none of them are really wearing anything that's the color green or none of their hair is dyed green. So what you want to do is we're gonna select this clip. What you want to do is head over here and what you want to do is you want to add a new color board. So we're gonna go ahead and click on new color board. We're gonna select in this clip right here and on the color board, we're gonna to go to this drop down arrow. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a color mask. So just click on color mask. Now what you wanna do is you wanna isolate the color. So for example, this green grass. So what you want to do is you want to you know, cl click on your mouse and drag and hold down your mouse. As you can see, now we're isolating just the green. So let's say this is pretty good. So we're isolating just the green. So basically what you're doing is just clicking on your mouse and then dragging to expand it to make, to, you're just going to like select more of the green. And then go ahead and just release your mouse. But as you can see, nothing really happened. So what you need to do is under the mask here, either go to inside. As you can see, you can drag down the saturation so just the subject is in color or we can undo that or we can go to the outside, so click on the outside. Now we're gonna go to the outside of the mask and make sure you're under um, saturation. So under the color board, under the color board, you wanna make sure you're under saturation and then you select it on outside or inside of the mask. And then what you wanna do is you wanna drag down, as you can see, now we're just desaturating the subject. So see, we're desaturating the subject, but we're keeping the grass green and just creates this really cool effect. Now let's say you wanna to add to the mask or you wanna subtract from the mouse. If we hold down the shift key as you can see this little plus icon comes up now as you can see now basically what we're doing is we're adding more color to the mask so as you can see now if you want to go ahead and delete some of the color as you see if we hold down the option key the minus button comes up as you can see now you can remove stuff from the mask as you can see there we go now only this section is green anyways hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you found it helpful and informative if you enjoyed these kind of videos make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and again if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro 10 plugins go ahead and check out my website winkinsmedia.com. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.